Dame Joan Collins looked the epitome of elegant as she arrived to dine at Craig's in West Hollywood on Monday night. The English actress, 88, wore a sophisticated floral jacket as well as a black top and matching skirt, and was accompanied to the dinner date by her fifth husband, producer Percy Gibson, 57. The former Dynasty star accessorized her glamorous nighttime look with a string of pearls and heart-shaped black earrings. Dot. The Golden Globe Award winner added an extra bit of glamour to her look with a black evening clutch in her hand. Dame Joan wore her voluminous dark tresses in short curls, neatly framing her features as for makeup, she opted for full glam, sporting well-defined eyebrows, plenty of dark eyeliner, bronze eyeshadow, and a fuchsia lipstick. Meanwhile her husband wore a classy dark suit, a crisp white shirt underneath, and dress shoes. Adding to the smart look, he also sported a pair of dark-rimmed eyeglasses. Ever the gentleman, Percy was seen helping his wife out of the car and holding her hand the entire time as he led the way to the swanky eatery. Collins and Gibson were married on February 17, 2002 at London's Claridge's Hotel, where the actress recently celebrated her 88th birthday bash and 20th wedding anniversary. Guests in attendance included Sarah, Duchess of York, Simon Cowell, his glamorous fiancé Lauren Silverman, actress Elizabeth Hurley and her model son Damien. The star recently opened up about her abusive first marriage in a new BBC Two documentary on sexual violence called Brave Miss World. In the film she detailed how her husband, late film star Maxwell Reed, who passed away in 1974 drugged and raped her on their first date. Dame Joan revealed that she then married him out of shame, and that he tried to pimp her out to old rich men for £10,000 a night. Joan was 17 and still a virgin when she was first introduced to Reed, who was 31 and a famous film star at the time, the pair were married for four years. Had I not been so innocent about sex and the way things should be I wouldn't have done that, but I had a strong sense of guilt, so I did it, she said. Dot. Speaking of their honeymoon she recalled, the honeymoon was a fiasco. We looked outwardly happy but underneath I was miserable. The star then went on to marry British pop star Anthony Newley in 1963, with whom she shares two children, Tara and Alexander, now 58 and 56.